I don't know if I should talk to you about this. I was going to talk to Ruby uh, just directly. Um, I was going to follow the chain of command. Are you ready for this, what I'm about to say? Go ahead. If I don't know if you need a minute to like process the other stuff. No, I should have just uh, removed my SIM card as well. So look, I would follow the chain of command, but it's getting so f ridiculous. I just genuinely uh, don't trust it going anywhere. Every time I get on duty slacks, I, I, I'm genuinely getting frustrated. Um, like really, really frustrated. Um, every time I come on duty, the radio is silent. And I feel like I generate a call. <clears throat> like the one I did with Chris, where, you know, there's jack shit going on. So I fake a phone call to Chris. Uh, small warrant. It's like joyriding or something like that. Uh, convince him I want to buy materials. I go over there. Mm. You know, light little warrant search. He's going to tell and me the whole thing to join. It feels like we've oh. got nine officers yeah. attached. Yeah, yeah. What the now, f happened with that? Because um... I, I was just so genuinely triggered. And I'm going to try to explain the reason why. Right, A backup is always appreciated, right? Um, But... Uh, and, and I don't want to so hyper-focus on this particular call because I can swear to you it happens every time I'm on duty. I believe you. I believe um, you. I think people are just not paying attention. There's no self-awareness in the PD. It, 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 it's it's worse than that. It's literal. I, I'm trying to choose my words carefully and try to be as professional as possible. Um, It's incompetence uh, at minimum uh, because the uh, unless things have changed a call is generated you should announce yourself to the call and provide ample time for the individual who's generated that call to let you why know are if they've got doing this so why, why, right? why are people tunneling um, why however there's so much pick me syndrome and so much um like yo let me join the chase that sounds cool like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like yeah. people jump onto the call. Well, because people and, don't and have the directions is, on patrol, right? They don't know what they're doing. And they're using the respond to calls as a crutch to respond to things, right? And then they're not realizing that, hey, you know, um, like you said, there's a, there's an appropriate way to respond to a call. Announce yourself, attach yourself to the call. If there's too many, pull back out. It should be four units. Yes. W what was he wanted for? Was it anything violent? Uh, bro, it was literally reckless evading joyriding. Like, it oh, was so goodness. light. Like, you know, I didn't even, like, really sweat too much, like, trying to get it him. Like, be. You know it should be. It should be four units. I, I chased right. him by myself. I already had two units, right? And and by the time Why I got back to my car to the job? and the chase no, happened, like, that's not I it. thought I was, that's like, seeing things. We have procedure for a reason. I saw seven to eight blips moving. Now, one of them was moving in a separate pack, and I was like, oh, okay, they're in a different call. I'm just mis, like, interpreting what I'm on. And then it turns out there was seven to eight units. And... Now, I would then, it, it, it put me in such an awkward position because, look, I'm glad we got Rami, right? Oh, oh, sorry. Howdy, Ruby. You got Rami? Yeah, we did. We, did. we just got him <gasps> sent off. Uh, so, well done. Uh, we, actually, we actually need to talk about this, Ashif. Um, I don't know if there's, hold on. Is there Bones around? I think, I think we should talk to Bones about this, honestly. Yeah. We can bring up to Bones. Is he on duty? Just to finish the thought, I, I you know, I'm I'm glad we got Rami, right? But the manner by which that happened just made it just a very unenjoyable call because it was such an Chat. extreme amount of units. If it's ruckus evading, you're running four units. Why do you need seven? Like, go, 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 go. Get it all. If they bring interference, bring more. And Wait, like just we didn't know that was Rami, right? We we're chasing someone that just did joyriding and reckless evading. And, and, and the problem is for myself, uh, the individual who generated that call originally on Chris, I have no way to reconcile the situation once the seven or eight are already on there. Uh, outside of perhaps, and I and, and I don't do this, get on the radio and start screaming. You know what I mean? Um, to get the message across. Because the moment there's seven to eight cops on 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 a small call, like you know, how do you? How do you, how does that get corrected? I am so sorry. No, you're I, fine. I feel like the responsibility needs to be on the individual doing the attach and recognizing that they that the call may be oversubscribed. You know what I mean?
Are we talking about the the King one, Chris King? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was interesting because there were several interfering vehicles when I was on the situation, but then they all peeled off. And and once we had two people in custody, uh, for some reason I felt that that uh, those people, I, I felt that some cops disappeared and then they showed back up. Does that make sense? It, it happens all the time. There's no communication. Yeah. They're falling back. Hey, even through one, it the simple through it. Hey, I, I'm going back to channel one. I do it all the time. Yeah. Because people don't pay attention to radio because they, they sometimes are they're on their own space or bubble or they're not paying attention to radio because there's so much going on in front of them or behind them. Or beside them. This is what I wanted to bring up with you, Ruby, is uh, I was going to follow the chain of command, but it, it's been happening so much and I have brought it up to others, but I, I just haven't seen The Lakers seen got destroyed it. by it the Pacers, God damn. I didn't want to hyper-focus on this incident with Chris. Sort of uh, the given the again. fact that it's almost every time I'm on duty, uh, oh, the Cavs actually I'm winning. witnessing a rather small incident that's a chase have a ballooning of units attached to it unannounced. And the moment we have individuals in custody, everyone's gone. So now right. it's like, who even was there? Yo, Dylan Air, thank you, man. Why did the, the units bomb. attach? Thank you. Like, and this is going to sound like I don't want to be nasty about it, but it feels like people are just joining to join the fun chase. And you know what I mean? Hey, and it, it causes a headache for the person who generated the call because we're the ones who just, you know, we're the ones who have to deal with the, the brunt of it. I would have to say that I have uh, encountered quite a few issues. But I'm gonna uh and I'm gonna on encompass duty? something else as well. Joe, what a case you go. Uh, I would say for the last two to three nights we've had no dispatch. Uh and it is desperately needed when we have this. We've got officers you know, that leave everything on channel one because we don't have always have time to swap to another channel. So that's mm. one issue that I have noticed. Uh the second issue is that um oh Hey, Chief. Go to prom slacks. Mm. Is this still happening? Yeah, in like 15 it's minutes. It's in 15 minutes. Ugh, prom. Uh, probably not. We're low on units. I'm going to stay on duty. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna stay clocked in, but in, uh, just in case something pops off. And uh, I'm going to invest in my car. Oh, God, it's Duncan. Yeah. Sorry. I, sorry, oh. I hung up on him. He'll probably call you next. Chat, there's not a lot of cops on duty. I don't want to uh, do that. All I, I, I completely understand where you're coming from, Brian, but I also feel that there are a multitude of issues that we're faced with right now. Mm. Uh, shift shift one, I've been here too long today. And shift one, again, no dispatch. And I thought we were hiring extra dispatch. I thought we were getting onto that. Uh, and dispatch is very important. Uh, and number two, I agree. People see a chase and they're like, whoopee, I'm going to join in. And yes, sometimes we do need uh, additional 77s. But I find that as soon as someone's in cuffs, they, they just bugger off and I don't know where they've gone. And sometimes I'm left holding a, a person that I, like today, I literally had to turn to an officer and I said, you tackled him and cuffed him. He's yours, not mine. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. And imagine Ruby that like, like uh, who the, there's a, like maybe who of the units that, and I don't want to hype once again, hyper-focus on this incident because it keeps happening. Like it's, it's happened every time I've been on duty Um, is like those officers that do leave, do they even know why they were, what the chase was about? What if it was violent? Right. What if those two individuals we now got in cuffs mm. were about to get rolled up on and shot up? Did that happen? Did the the suspect get taken? Uh, no, not not in this case. But I'm saying like okay. that that's like the oh, side yeah. effect, right? Like two yeah. officers, like you know, it's like the okay, there was like eight cops on scene, and then all of a sudden, you know, we've got three in custody, and now it's like EMS and you know two or three cops and only two suspects, like. At any moment, mm -hmm. someone's roll through. Chat, and just like, this is blast. a never-ending problem. You need leadership to fix this problem. Uh, to me, mm -hmm. can I be honest I, with you? I feel on a on a per officer basis, 
what I thought was this very is, helpful in the past. That's you, was, dog. What do you think I was um, doing? I each was and every officer crash. is responsible to say, you know, do you need an additional unit? Or, you know, 190, 195 attaching. It gives ample time for whoever is managing that call to, you know, say, we have enough units, right? Um, but when it's done like silently, it's mm -hmm. there's no way to know. Or, and then when they detach, hey, do you have you guys good here? Can I break off? Yeah, you can, or no, can you stick around? Boom, boom. And I feel like just that one little change just pays dividends. The, the, I'm going to be honest, this is always going to be an issue in the PD. You need to have the active leadership on pursuits saying, hey, knock it off. Get the f out of pursuit. Go back to channel one. This will mm -hmm. never be fixed unless there's a proactive leader on scene saying, hey, we got too many units, y'all. You know, somebody should break off. Or uh, there's too many on the chase. We don't need that many. Thank you for helping out. Go back to channel one. Somebody has to be the bad guy. Somebody has to be the bad guy. If nobody steps up, if nobody steps up and says that, then nobody's going to acknowledge that. Even though they might feel it or know it, but they're going to wait for somebody else to say it. I don't see them as a bad guy. I see them as a leader. Can I get, provide a counter there, Slack? Sure. Um, why do we need someone to play babysitter? Because people tunnel. People tunnel too much in the chase. They're not thinking about um, how many units are involved. They're not really thinking in that kind of perspective. They're thinking about, it's a chase, I must catch them. 